Welcome to New York and to the Jaguar F-Pace SVR. Now, if you thought the Jaguar I-Pace that was revealed earlier this year was a little bit too environmentally friendly, this is the antidote because under here is one of Jaguar's fabulous five litre supercharged V8s. Now, it's not the latest 575 horsepower engine, it's the lower powered 550 horsepower engine or 542 bhp in Old English, but that is still good enough for North to 62, well, not to 60, because it's a Jaguar after all, not to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Now, for a, a better idea of what that means, that's 0.2 seconds quicker than the Range Rover Sport SVR, and that engine has the 575 horsepower version of the 5 litre V8. Now, what's new? Well, it's got a totally new front end, brand new front bumpers, massive air intakes, and that's all designed to put as much air into this engine as possible. There's a new bonnet as well with some extra new side vents and that's designed to get all this hot air out of the car. Round the back, well, it looks absolutely fantastic thanks to squared off rear bumpers and four big exhaust pipes. It's got unique 22 inch wheels. You can have a 21 inch version if you really want to. And the body kit is in a different color to the uh, exterior color, which does add to the whole sporty flavor. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look inside. Now, the sporty exterior is matched in here because the F-Pace's interior has had an SVR makeover. So there are slim Sportline sports seats with this unique lozenge diamond pattern. It looks and feels absolutely fantastic. We've got lashings of carbon fibre trim, a brand new steering wheel with SVR badging as you'd expect, and digital dials with SVR branding on them as well. One of the biggest changes is the sport trigger gear shift. Now that's straight out of the F-Type SVR. It replaces the rotary knob you find in other F-Pace models and it means you can change gear a little bit quicker and it also looks quite a lot sporty as well. Elsewhere, well it's typical F-Pace so there is a strong sense of build quality in here and the design really does look very modern and also very classic at the same time. It's a very nice place to be in here as well. Well in terms of prices this car will kick off at just under £75,000. That's around £20,000 less than the Range Rover Sport SVR, but that shows you the power of the Range Rover badge after all, doesn't it? Now, you should be able to get one of these in the summer, and I, for one, cannot wait to drive it. Let us know what you think to it in the comments section below.